discuss with you the importance of nutrients or good nutrition for our body. Good nutrition is very important for a healthy living. Good nutrition with good physical activities can, first, reduce the risk of diseases. Diseases such as um, diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, and others. Second, good nutrition increases our energy level. So we can do a lot of work for the whole day. Third, it reduces uh, high blood pressure. So uh, a lot of people nowadays died because of high blood pressure. If we have good nutrition intake for our bodies, we can prevent high blood pressure. Next is good nutrition also lowers our cholesterol level. So cholesterol level will lead us to cardiac arrest. This is often the cause of death for many people. So we have to be careful that we eat um, good food that don't have uh, fats, only those that have less cholesterol. So good nutrition also improves the ability to fight off those illnesses that I have mentioned. So if we are healthy and uh, we get the bacteria or the viruses like the coronavirus, we can fight them up easily with um, good nutrition or a proper diet. We have um, good food on the table composed of fruits and vegetables so that would really fight off the diseases. Good nutrition also improve the ability to recover if ever we get um, infected or if ever we get sick so we can recover easily because of the good nutrition or the good diet that we are taking from day to day. So. Not only that, it will also improve our well-being. Of course, if you don't easily get sick, if we are healthy, if we are living a healthy life, we live each day well and good and away from illnesses. So we need good nutrition. Good nutrition means that having in our body the, the proper nutrients, the vitamins and the minerals that it needs so that our body can work well so that we can have enough energy for the whole day. We need to plan our meals. We need to plan our snacks that it would include the needed vitamins and minerals for our body's needs. I have a few tips for us in order to eat well. First, we have to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. We have to eat plenty of whole grains. Uh, we, we also need to choose uh, milk that have less fat or fat-free milk. Uh, it also, it's also uh, advisable to choose lean meats. So when we go to the market or to the mall, we should choose the meat that, that have lots of fats. So lean, meaning lean meat without fat, will be beneficial for our body. We also need to drink plenty of water. Um, according to studies, we need 8 to 10 glasses a day to keep us uh, hydrated. And if you do a lot of things like you're doing your exercises, you need to drink one or two liters a day to keep you hydrated. So not only water, but uh, you can also drink juice or uh, any liquid to supplement the water that our body needs. Uh, I would like to discuss with you the influence of family on the understanding of gender. So as we know, uh, family is very important, especially for children and teenagers. Children usually watch their parents interact with others. They make choices. They determine the right and wrong, how to choose the right and wrong based on what they have seen or what they have observed from their parents. So in this, uh, it greatly uh, impacts on their decision making concerning their moral values or on their understanding on gender equality or gender biases and how they perceive concerning this um, issue. Conversely, a family that is often critical of a child's performance may lead to a reduced self-esteem. So it really depends on how the family is um, teaching their kids on this issue. So family life can influence a lot on their identity. 
as a person. Another thing, the relationship between religion and gender equality is a complex one. Religion plays a vital role in shaping the cultural, the social, economic, as well as the political norms in many parts of the world. In addition, faith-based organizations and institutions are among the largest and most stable and well-resourced social networks that also has great influence on the issue of gender equality. So. Uh, in different churches or different religion teaches differently based on their doctrines or, or set of beliefs as much as possible um, we will not be so judgmental um, we need to understand um, we need to understand what the Bible really teaches us and also we also need to give respect for those people especially um, the LGBT community because these people uh, are also created by God and God loves them as well media yeah everybody knows that nowadays especially during this pandemic um, social media is very is is not it's not just a part but it becomes the center of everyone's activity so according to research nowadays that a teenager may um, lastly on media influences on the concept of or understanding on gender Yes, um, we cannot deny the fact that social media nowadays, not just social media, but um, TV shows and everything you can find on the internet greatly influences one's belief on gender. So at this point, I would like to encourage all parents out there to keep on monitoring or checking on our kids especially on our teenagers and young children regarding social media it's good to check regularly on their social media accounts to see if what they're getting from their facebook are beneficial for them so it's our responsibility as parents to monitor what our children are learning from the social media so i would like to thank everyone for listening i hope you have learned something i am no expert on this but i'm just sharing just sharing what's on my mind and according to my observation and as a parent of a teenage so i would like to thank you i hope you are in this together get blessed and keep safe everyone